Hi, it's Jamie here at LGS, and in this video, we're going to be looking at Proof HQ and workflow management, and specifically the sharing and monitoring uh, of your proofs as you run through the approval cycle. So we can see that we've logged into the platform, and I'm actually using a folder down on the bottom left-hand side here uh, to actually store my proofs as we run through this example. First thing I'm going to do is actually upload a new proof into the system. So if I go up into the top left-hand side here and click on New Proof, this then gives me the ability to select that proof. I can drag and drop, or I can select it from the finder. I'm going to select from the finder in this example. I'm going to use a PDF file. And we can see that's now uploading into the system. It will pick the file name as the default name. but You can overwrite that and give it a specific proof name if you wish. We can see down the bottom here that we've got the ability to now share that with a, another person or a number of people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to share it with one person as an example. Let's see we've got that selected. And we can pick their role which allows us to determine what that person can do and the decisions that they can make regarding that proof. And we're going to make Sarah a reviewer and an approver. And we can also trigger when that person gets email alerts. So they can get an email alert to say the proof is ready to view but they can also get email alerts to determine um, if that proof is behind schedule um, that they need to, to review that proof and report back. Um, what we can also do is set a deadline. So I'm going to put a deadline in of Monday and I'm going to say the deadline is 10 o'clock Monday morning uh, to have that done. We can notify the person via email. We can put a custom message in. I'm going to leave it on default for now and we're going to add that into the LGS folder that we see here. So I'm going to create that proof and we can see now that that proof is now processing. So it's converting that native file format, whether it be a PDF file, a PowerPoint file, a Word document, an Excel document, whatever it might be, it's now going to convert that into a format that you can open up and view in your web browser and your clients can also view. You don't need the native application uh, to be able to do that. So we can see that proof now is finished processing. We get a thumbnail on here. We've got the ability to go straight to that proof ourselves uh, within the proof viewer in Proof HQ. And we can see who the owner is, and that's me in this example, and the email address of the person um, that we've shared it with. We can see also that we've got these little icons to actually indicate what the status is of that proof. So we can see what the deadline is, that it's the 18th of April at 10 a.m. And at the moment, we can see that proof has been sent. So sent basically means that an email has been sent um, to, your, to your recipient. We can also see grayed out that we've got opened, comment made, and decision made. So what that allows you to do is see at a glance whether or not uh, your client or your colleague has actually opened up that file. So you can really... Get, uh, get, keep a very close track on, on what people are doing and of course in this example I've just shared it with one person but you can add multiple people to this list so that way you can see exactly what's going on. I'm going to take on the role of the person that's actually received that email and actually review the proof and we can see how we can monitor what that person is doing at a glance in this view. So I've launched uh, the email so I'm now taking on the role of the client that's received the email notification and they can see who that's been sent from. So that normally come up with your name, the fact that they've got a new proof and the name of that proof. And if I click on that, from the client's perspective, they can also see at a glance what the status is of that page. So they can see that they've got one new proof to review. They can see what their deadline is um, on that time. They've got the ability to go straight to that proof um, and they can also see what the progress is of that proof. So I'm now taking on the role of client. I'm going to go in and we can see straight away that's now going to load in the proof viewer. So they've not had to launch a native application. They've not had to launch Acrobat or Word or Excel or anything like that. It just all runs within their web browser. Because this is the first time this client has logged in, it actually gives them a little tour to explain how the platform works in really headline level. So that way, if they've never used it before, they can just see um, how to view comments, how to review pages, how to use the pan and zoom control, and how to finish that review. So really, really nice little uh, headline way of being able to see that, and also leads them onto the online help should they need it. But the platform is very intuitive to use. 
what we're going to do now is as that client user we can see that we've got lots and lots of options to be able to look through all of the content within this uh, within this page you can see we've got multiple pages we're going to run through lots of tools available this is actually covered off in another video so please check that out if you want to find out more about the viewer but what I'm actually going to do is is just sort of give you that example of how you can track now because I'm the client and I've opened up that proof that means for the person that's actually sent it we can actually see that that's taken place so if I go back into my other user and I actually refresh this view we can see now that it's actually changed and we've now got opened as the status um, on that page so straight away you can see that your client has opened up that page from their emails so it's 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 very uh, informative on that front from the client's perspective what we're going to do now we've got all these options to mark up changes but I'm actually going to finish the review and I'm going to say I'm happy with this piece of content and it's approved and we can save that and we can close that down now what that means from your perspective is that if I go back in to my browser we can see now the status of that page so straight away we can see that it was sent it has been opened um, by the client that the comment has been made and it's actually been approved and you can see that status and you can go to that proof and actually view that piece of content what you can also do from here is actually go to activity and that will then show you all of the activity um, that's taken place on that proof so that way you get a full um, history log of exactly what's happened what's taken place um, on that page so you know exactly what's what, what, what the decision process that's taken place and the times and dates um, that's, that's been taken that, that, that's been applied. so I'm hoping that's been a, a, a quick introduction um, to give you a really uh, fast overview of how easy it is to track uh, content uh, through the approval cycle um, if you have any queries, please don't hesitate to get in touch and we can get you set up with a trial if you'd like to get hands on. Thank you for listening.